Oke okay guys, welcome back to our channel Independent Training. So uh, our discussion today will be uh, definition of variables and then actually what types of variable that we are going to use in uh, our research. So uh, before we move forward to our video, please don't forget to like and then subscribe this video. So, what, uh, what is actually variable? So this is a uh, quite basic concept that uh, we should know about variable. Variable is anything, so it could be anything that can take on differing or varying value. The value can differ at various times for the same object or persons, or at the same time for different objects or persons. Example of variable are production unit. This is an uh, example from uh, our book but usually because of my research uh, in uh, counting research so we are going to use variable that came up from financial statement um, financial statement consists of a uh, statement of financial positions profit uh, or a statement PL statement so usually our variable is uh, profit and then uh, sales uh, return on asset uh, and then uh, earning per share uh, that is a uh, common variable in counting research okay so that would be uh, this is a, a definition of variable so we are going moving forward uh, this is main types of variable that we are going to discuss in this chapter uh, we have dependent variable also known as the criterion variable the independent variable also known as the predictor variable this is a predictor from the dependent variable the moderate, uh, moderating variable and then the last one intervening variable uh, for your research usually at least the, you have dependent variable as a criterion variable and then the predictor will be the independent variable dependent variable usually you just uh, choose one variable but uh, independent variable you have probability to choose more than one variable uh, is it uh, this is quite uh, difficult if you are choose more than uh, one dependent variable like example two independent variable but it's quite easy if you put another independent variable rather than dependent variable and we are going to discuss uh, uh, later in, uh, in our video regarding uh, statistical uh, regression but from uh, this discussion we are going to uh, put assumption that your research will be one dependent variable and then you can add uh, multiple independent variable uh, the independent variable uh, based on previous research so if this is example the title the influence of good corporate governance towards uh, firm value it means the independent variable will be good corporate governance towards to firm value firm value will be dependent variable so this is uh, quite easy if you are uh, download the research journal especially from Indonesia to define which one uh, the dependent variable and then which one is dependent variable because in the title in uh, research journal in Indonesia usually we are quite uh, defined and then put your variable in the title the influence of good corporate governance board of commissioners toward firm performance it means your independent variable will be good corporate governance board of commissioners and then the, your dependent variable will be uh, firm value yeah. so that is so typically research in Indonesia you put all the name variable in your title yeah. so uh, get dependent variable and then also independent variable yeah. so uh, that is just a slightly example but before we are going to discuss dependent and the independent uh, we should know first the definition of dependent variable 
So dependent variable, I put a yellow highlight on here. The dependent variable is the variable of primary interest to the researcher. The primary interest to the researcher, it means usually your phenomena, your problem will be on dependent variable. Yeah. The researcher's goal is to understand and describe the dependent variable. So when I'm mentioning the influence of good corporate governance toward firm value, it means I'm going to describe what is actually the firm value. Why firm value is become more important than good corporate governance? Why firm value becoming my emphasis in this research to be discussed furthermore? So, uh, the dependent variable is the primary interest. Yeah. Uh, usually in my first paragraph, usually in my first paragraph in introduction sections, I'm going to discuss first will be on firm value. Yeah, so, sir, actually my title is the influence of good corporate governance toward firm value. Why I'm not discussing about good corporate governance? Because corporate governance will be on my first variable. Now you can answer the questions. No, we are going to discuss first from value because what? From value is your dependent variable, and then based on this text uh, uh, book, the dependent variable is the primary of the researcher. So, from value will be your uh, obligation to do uh, more explanation, especially in the first paragraph yeah, in your introduction sections. Yeah. So, this is the the researcher goal is to understand and describe the dependent variable. So. When you are quite confusing, we are when you are quite. So actually, I don't know what I'm going to discuss in my first or uh, second sentence in the introduction. So just discuss what is dependent on your dependent variable. Yeah? So discuss what is from value actually. Why from value is becoming more uh, so important for uh, for the corporate. Yeah? That will be your first or second sentences when you are quite confused. What uh, you are going to uh, put in your first or second sentence in introductions. Okay. That will be dependent. Okay, so we are moving forward to independent variable. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to put highlight over here. Okay. An independent variable is one that influences the dependent variable, either a positive or negative way. Oh, okay. Just put aside positive or negative way because uh, that will be uh, in the next video. Just uh, make sure that you are quite understand that independent variable is the one that influences the dependent variable. Is the one that influences. Yeah. So when I'm mentioning the influence of corporate governance toward firm value, it means that the corporate governance will be the variable that influences the firm value. Sir, is it possible if I can choose uh, not one independent variable so I can uh, choose two or three variables that influence firm value? Yes, you can uh, put more one variable independent, but please make sure that when you are put more independent variable, those relationships based on previous research. So it means when I put the, uh, the influence of good for good corporate governance toward firm value, it means I have previous research regard, uh, that already discussed the importance of good corporate governance toward firm value. So how about if I put a uh, board of commissioners? Um, that will be based on previous research. You should find another research, previous research usually, that already discussed why board of commissioners is so important to affect, yeah, to influence the firm value. So how about if I put uh, another variable that can affect the dependent variable, in this case is from value. Yes, you can put, but please make sure that your variable is already discussed in previous research. Okay, so uh, that will be uh, the question usually that I, uh, uh, some of my uh, students, they are asking and then they are trying to put more uh, independent variable, but with uh, or uh, I'm just make sure that you, when you are put uh, independent variable already previous research that discuss uh, those what independent variable. Okay, so that it will be independent variable. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, 
this is how we uh, I put highlight first over here this will be yellow and then dependent variable will be okay yeah so uh, when uh, we are discuss about independent variable and the dependent variable we put independent variable in the left side usually yeah so how about if i have uh, three independent variable so you put over here one independent variable two independent variable three independent variable and then dependent variable will be on the right side yeah that will be um, uh, when we have several independent variable and then one dependent variable yeah and then uh, just put around uh, your from your first independent variable to dependent variable your second variable the third variable independent to dependent variable yeah put around to dependent variable okay uh, that will be the end of uh, simply independent towards dependent variable okay so we are moving forward to discuss uh, this is quite challenging modulating variable okay so some of your uh, x minor usually or your uh, thesis uh, super uh, thesis uh, x minor or, or thesis uh, supervision usually they are asking you to put moderating variable so what is actually a moderating variable the moderating variable i already put highlight over here the moderating variable is one that has a strong contingent effect on the independent variable dependent variable relationship yeah. uh, i put the green highlight over there that is the presence of third variable so uh, you are already uh, you can uh, now you can describe independent variable in the left side and also dependent variable on the right side but in the moderating variable there's also the third variable that we call the moderating variable yeah okay so okay okay yeah. so this is how we can describe independent variable before you already this is uh we already discussed uh, and then uh, also dependent variable but you have right now in uh, moderating variable we put moderating variable over here below the relationships of independent and dependent variable below yeah so i put emphasize we are going to put moderating variable below the relationship of independent toward dependent variable yeah it means the existence of uh, the presence of moderating variable is not an obligation yeah moderating variable might be can affect this relationship might be cannot be affect this relationship yeah so the presence of moderating variable quite different with intervening variable we are going to discuss after this intervening variable so uh, I hope that you can now describe independent variable, dependent variable, and then moderating variable over here. Uh, I'm going to put an easy example like if the independent if the dependent variable your GPA, yeah, your GPA, yeah, your independent variable will be motivation. Yeah, this is motivation. Yeah, so motivation will affect your GPA but this is I put moderation uh, moderating effect uh, uh, let me put example the moderating effect will be uh, reward example your reward from your uh, parents might be um, iPhone Pro Max 12 yeah so uh, your motivation should be affect the GPA but it seems your uh, par your parents quite uh, worried. Is it that my uh, 
is it can uh, can see uh, he or she achieve the GPA 3.9 example that, that is quite uh, difficult to achieve actually 3.9 but as uh, as uh, as a parents uh, they put more they put uh, more they put another uh, variable uh, reward over here so when reward over here put a row to the relationship of uh, motivation to GPA yeah? so when uh, this iPhone uh, Pro Max 12 can be affect this relationship or might be this uh, reward cannot be affect this relationship among independent variable to dependent variable yeah? so your uh, moderating variable is not an obligation yeah, variable to achieve your GPA but this is based on previous research this is already uh, proven that your motivation should be increased and then your GPL should be increased yeah. that will be the uh, example of uh, moderating variable okay uh, so this is uh, quite uh, how we put it independent, dependent, and then um, moderating variable over here. Uh, so we are moving forward to okay. This is intervening variable. Yeah. Uh, uh, please highlight to the different color. I already put if the uh, importance word importance uh, emphasize. I usually put in different color. Yeah. Intervening variable is the one that surveys between the time. Uh, the dependent variable start operating to influence the dependent variable and the time their impact is felt on it yeah so i already put highlight on that uh, services yeah so okay okay this is how we can describe intervening variable yeah are you noticed the difference between intervening and moderating yeah if we still discuss about moderating yeah the variable over here will be below they are not on the surface between independent to dependent variable yeah so when we are uh, discuss about uh, intervening variable then this uh, then this variable is mandatory variable yeah i put example in your gpa so when you want to achieve gpa the highest gpa let's put example 3.9 gpa the motivation will not be enough the motivation will not be enough why because you you need more reward over here yeah that iPhone uh, 12 to achieve GPA but if moderating variable the reward is not a mandatory it's not a mandatory variable to achieve GPA but once you turn it into intervening variable that variable the third variable will be the mandatory variable to influence the dependent variable or in the other side we are going to uh, put in one sentence is that your GPA will be affect on motivation yeah, through reward then you can get or you can achieve your GPA yeah. that will be the uh, sentence to describe intervening but when you are discussing about moderating when uh, the sentence will be uh, will be when you are going to achieve your 3.9 GPA is based only based on uh, the factor the uh, influence will be only motivation but the reward is still we are not knowing this is not mandatory if your parents going to give your iPhone or not giving your uh, iPhone yeah that will be the different when you are described um, moderating variable and then intervening variable yeah. okay uh, uh, might mean the in the next video I will discuss one research journal accounting uh, specific to accounting journal to describe a dependent variable and then to describe independent variable okay Guys, so that will be the end up uh, uh, uh
or our video regarding the variables and then the types of variable okay so that will be the end of our video uh, how can you describe variables and then the types of variables so don't forget you have dependent variable independent variable as a predictor yeah you can put more than one independent variable but be careful if you are put more than one dependent variable because that will be in the impact will be on statistical regressions it's uh, yeah it's quite um, difficult to uh, put more than one dependent variable so be careful when you are going to modify you are going to make a new conceptual framework make sure that you are just modified the independent variable and then the, uh, also this is quite important that if you are put more independent variable please make sure that already previous research discussed uh, regarding the variable that you are going to put yeah. and then the, the last two variable will be moderating and then intervening moderating variable uh, the third variable or the moderating variable uh, might be effect or might be not effect the uh, two uh, independent dependent relationship but when you are discussed in the fighting variable the third variable is already mandatory because if you have notice you put the third variable on the surface between independence uh, and then uh, dependent variable so uh, in the intervening variable that will be in the same line uh, independent uh, independent intervening and then a dependent variable yeah so I hope uh, based on uh, that video you are you can describe and then you can define the difference between independent variable dependent moderating and then uh, intervening variable yeah. okay guys so don't forget uh, to like and then to subscribe also if you have uh, any questions just put in the comment